Welcome back everybody to another episode of Direct Comparison. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at the original 2016 E3 reveal of Detroit Become Human, and compare that to the final retail version of the game that just released today. Now before putting these clips together, I didn't think I was going to find many differences. The final presentation of the game looks nearly identical, and is probably one of the best looking titles on the PlayStation 4. But I was surprised to see quite a few minor changes to character models, animations, and even environmental detail. When looking at this footage, be aware that the E3 footage won't appear as crisp as the retail, mainly because of the video compression, so try not to worry too much about differences in picture clarity or resolution. But there's a ton of other little tiny details and changes throughout, too many for me to really cover without this video going on for a full hour, so I'll just briefly go over some of the biggest changes that I've noticed and let you guys see for yourself with a shot for shot recreation of the trailer using the final version of the game being played on a PS4 Pro. So first up, there's an actual reduction in reflective surface quality. Look at this elevator scene for example. In the original E3 trailer, there's a reflective surface on the elevator door that shows the coin Connor is flipping. But the retail version of the game has removed this reflective surface completely. Also, a lot of you have probably already noticed that the character model has seen a few changes. His uniform now has a bit more detail, likely done to better associate the character with being an android. Lighting and shadows have seen a ton of tweaks throughout the opening scene, but it's difficult to say if they improve the visual quality or hinder it. This scene where the android confronts the mother for example, we now see a brighter white light reflecting off of her skin, which is more consistent with what you'd expect to see from an aquarium LED light source, and how it illuminates the space around it. Later, when Connor walks onto the patio, there used to be a lens flare effect coming from one of the light sources to the right, but this was removed, and we instead have more reflective surfaces on the ground. Another interesting change is the addition of dynamic patio furniture as Connor approaches the hostile. In the trailer, we only briefly see Connor push a chair out of the way, but in the final version, a helicopter blows furniture across the path, and you're forced to navigate around it. But other than those changes and several other incredibly minor changes throughout, the game looks practically identical. All the cutscenes shown in the trailer are in the final version of the game, including each one of the potential outcomes showcased towards the end. But those are just some of the bigger differences that I noticed when looking over this footage. What do you guys think? What other differences have you noticed when watching through this? Let us know in the comments section and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this posted every week.